All the way my Savior leads me Cheers each winding path I tread Gives me grace for every trial Feeds me with the living bread Good morning everybody. Welcome to Chester Air Church Devotional Podcast. Clint Davis, your host. Let's get started. 1 Samuel chapter 17, David and Goliath. Now the Philistines gathered their armies for battle, and they were gathered at Succoth, which belongs to Judah, and encamped between Succoth and Azekah in Ephes Demon. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered and encamped in the valley of Elah, and drew up a line of battle against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on the mountain to one side, and Israel stood on the mountain to the other side with the valley between them. And there came out from the camp of the Philistines a champion named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. He had a helmet of bronze on his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail. And the weight of the coat was 5,000 shekels of bronze. And he had bronze armor on his legs and a javelin of bronze slung between his shoulders. The shaft of his spear was like a weaver's beam. And the spear, or his spear's head, weighed six hundred shekels of iron. And his shield-bearer went before him. And he stood and he shouted to the ranks of Israel, Why have you come out to draw out up for battle? Am I not a Philistine? And are you not servants of Saul? Choose then for a man for yourselves, and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you, you shall be our servants and serve us. And the Philistines said, I defy the ranks of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. As we get started here today, we think about this particular introduction to the episode where David kills Goliath. Perhaps no Old Testament story is more well known than David killing Goliath. Maybe the um, Exodus itself where God delivers the people from Egypt, but most likely the most well-known story of the Old Testament is David killing Goliath. We hear about it in our um, sports world and our sports crazed society, which I'm a part. I love sports, but we hear of uh, an underdog beating a a major program or a major favorite. We talk about David beating Goliath. I remember several years ago when um, the University of Virginia number one seed in the NCAA basketball tournament got beat uh, for the first time. First time a number one seed had ever been beat. And um, it was a big David and Goliath type story. We talked about how the underdog rose up and fought against the Goliath and beat them. So we know the story is very familiar, and it's also a story that brings a lot of encouragement, a lot of hope, but also a lot of um, a sense of victory to us. But it gets started here in chapter 17 uh, with Goliath coming out of the ranks of the Philistines the enemies of God's people coming out of the ranks and saying, I will stand in the valley, choose for yourself a warrior who will come down to me and fight me. And if he is victorious, then we, the the people of Philistia, will be the servants of the people of Israel. But if I am victorious, then the people of Israel, you, will be the servants of Israel us, the people of Philistia. So you have this idea of two representative warriors fighting in the, the valley between the two armies. The, the picture is kind of a, a Colosseum type picture with the Philistines on one mountain, the Israelites on another mountain, and two warriors fighting in the middle representing both nations. And the The warrior who wins not only wins the victory in that moment for himself, but he wins it for his nation. He wins it for his people. This is a motif that comes to the forefront throughout the writings of the scriptures because it is ultimately setting us up for the triumph of David over Goliath and the, the fact that Israel wins through the victory of David and therefore the Philistines will be on the run and the enemies of God's people will be on the run and David will have won the victory for his people which points us to the great coming of Jesus. 
David and Goliath is not so much a story where I think about applying it in my life or you think about applying it in your life where you say, you know what, um, I-, I can go up against any challenge. With God's help, I can go up against any challenge and be victorious. I'm not going to give in to the Goliaths in my life because I have the spirit of David. No, that's not what this story is about. This story is about pointing us to the great David, the great Davidic king, the Lord Jesus Christ, who defeated our enemies on our behalf, who represented us as he stood before the throne of death and went into death and destroyed it and defeated it once and for all. And so he is our David. He is our victor. And we have victory in the person of Jesus Christ. So Goliath and his grandeur, his height, his insurmountable power will come out and fight on behalf of the Philistines. And the the servant David will go and fight on behalf of the Israelites. And victory will be David's because the Lord will bring victory. Just as victory is the people of God's because Christ has conquered the dead. You guys have a great day. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. You carry me.